hockey fans? Well, isn't this great? There's only one game today, and it's already over, and it's only 9.30, and I'm done my video. I just have to do the voiceover. Eastern Conference, Tampa Bay Lightning won their last three games, jumped up a spot. They never get quite get out of the top three of the division, but 34 points, and they uh, are doing quite well. Montreal Canadiens, they dropped one after being in first place, but it's been back and forth between Tampa and Montreal now for the last four or five weeks. Detroit Red Wings jumped from seventh place back up to three where they were for three weeks uh, with a 7-2-1 record. They've won four. Uh, very good for them. Pittsburgh Penguins, no change. New York Islanders, no change. And the New York Rangers, no change either. They've all won at least one game. 8-2-0 uh, for the Islanders. They're still being very impressive. Boston Bruins, they dropped down four spots. Uh, they were only in third sp place for a little while. Now they're uh, back down again. But respectable with 6-3-1 considering all their injuries. They won their last game. The Maple Leafs won nicely in their last game against Washington really ran up the score on them, uh, remain in eighth place. Florida Panthers have passed the Ottawa Senators. They went from 12th to 9th, uh, plus three. In the standings, change won their last two games, 5-3-1. and one. Washington Capitals, they've lost their last game, but they've... Uh, they won against one against the Islanders, and they lost one against the Islanders in overtime, so they got three points for that back-to-back. Uh, -back. Five, four, and one in their last ten. No change for there. Uh, the Ottawa Senators dropped two spots. They're doing terrible. They've lost their last two games, but the really bad stat here is the three, six, and one that they currently have for the last ten. Not doing very well at all. The New Jersey Devils. Dropped a spot, 3-5-2, and two, lost their last game. Philadelphia Flyers still struggling. No change in the standings for them, but they've lost their last three games and are 2-7-1 and one in their last 10. The Buffalo Sabres won their last two. They're 5-5-0. Five, five oh. They've jumped up two spots. They're no longer in the basement. That belongs to the Columbus Blue Jackets, but right above them and doing just as badly are the Carolina Hurricanes with a 3-7-0. and They've lost their last game. And finally, Columbus lost their last four games, are 2-7-1, and and they dropped down to the basement. And now for the Western Conference. Nashville Predators, a surprising Nashville Predators, but no longer. Uh, they find themselves in first place once again. They went up one spot, so they've been jockeying with a variety of teams here, but re most most recently the St. Louis Blues. They've won their last four, or 8-2-0. Oh. St. Louis is 7-2-1. and one. They've lost their last two. And the Chicago Blackhawks have won their last three, 8-2-0 oh in their last ten. The Vancouver Canucks, they've moved up a spot, but only within their division. Uh, lost their last game. They're still doing well at 6-3-1. Anaheim Ducks, 4-3-3 in their last 10. They've lost two. And the Calgary Flames, no change, 7-3-0. They've won their last two. The Los Angeles Kings, uh, no change for them, still in seventh place, 5-3-2. They lost their last game. I'm watching it right now. The Winnipeg Jets, uh, they've gone up a spot from ninth place and are now in the playoffs with 28 points, 4-4-2 four, four and two in their last 10, and they lost their last game. Minnesota Wild went up a spot, and the San Jose Sharks dropped a spot. I don't know what they're going to do in San Jose. I know I say this every week, but they're 3-5-2. and two. They won their last game. Minnesota 6-3-1. and one. Dallas Stars still struggling, still in 11th place, 5-4-1, and one, and they lost their last game. Colorado Avalanche, plus one, 23 points. They've moved up one spot because they won their last game, 6-4-0. Arizona Coyotes, my favorite team, 3-5-2, lost their last game. Uh, one thing I found out about Arizona and Florida as well is they're actually charging. They're not giving their tickets away anymore, so if the arenas look empty but still have a certain number of patrons, those patrons actually are paying the full freight. Edmonton Oilers, pathetic, lost their last nine games, are 1-6-3. and three. 
and they haven't moved. No change there, still in the basement. So that's it. Until next week.